Okay, so this one is just a quick rundown on how to plumb or how to connect your valves to your airbag. So in the other video, I showed how to wire the uh, solenoid up. So on this one, what I've done, if you notice, you have an end on the valves. You need to make sure that the air tank is feeding into that, that port. So you'll come in, this will be your fill valve. You connect it across to a T. Off of that T, this is your dump valve. So what'll happen, air will come in. Shouldn't, well, as long as your tank is more pressure or equal to what is outside of the this valve, it will not bleed back. Uh, you can fix that a little better using the check valve, which would just go in place in that spot. You just move things out a little farther and it's even got a little in and out on it. To show you what that does, it just stops the, uh, this one's filthy, it needs to be cleaned. It stops the air from going back through it in that direction. So it only allows it to go one direction but your air will come through and feed into the airbag. What you'll have here is just a either compression fitting or a press to connect to your airline that hooks directly to your airbag. You don't have to have a fitting with this, uh, or a T with this uh, gauge fitting on it, but all this is, you're gonna have a small line going back or a pressure transducer that, if you've got digital gauges, but this will go back to a gauge at your dash or on your column to give you what the air pressure is at this airbag and then you can replicate this whole process on each airbag all the way across that gives you your full system uh, if you're running independent valves which you should all the way across that uh, you just have four of this set up your dump valve coming down here what it'll do is you have so, you know, 100 pounds of pressure at this point going to the airbag. Once this energizes, it'll dump the air out and allow the vehicle to dump. So, I got it wired in. You got the fuel coming off one side of the switch. Down is the other one. That's a, it's a real basic rundown of, of how I normally would plumb my my setup if I was going to run a tank like this this is the uh, ideally you would go ahead and, and have that hooked in line just this is a safety precaution if if you aired your vehicle up and you're going down the road something happens your compressor fails and you can't put more air back into the tank if everything's sealed up good you should be able to run the rest of the way home if you're not leaking uh, as long as you have a check valve to keep the pressure in the tank from uh, your airbag from equalizing back into the tank if it goes lower but for the most part that's a that's a brief rundown uh, if any of these video videos are helpful to you in any way just uh subscribe give me a uh, thumbs up comment if you got any questions suggestions for videos uh, whatever you got just uh, throw something up there for me thank you guys bye